Well, good evening and welcome. My name is Daniel G, and I'm the Associate Conductor of Core Arts Initiative. We're delighted you've joined us this evening for the first performance of our Fall 2020 Virtual Concert Series. As you might imagine, the present limitations of our context have created some difficult challenges for us to overcome. Nonetheless, I am proud of the flexibility and perseverance of our core artists to still come together and make some wonderful music in the ways we're able. A special thanks goes out to the Core Arts Initiative staff, and particularly Marcus Carly, who produced our video. Our season, entitled Healing and Hope, had to be modified just a little bit since we made initial plans this summer. Nonetheless, we still hope that our music might bring some beauty and encouragement in our difficult time. And if so, we hope you might consider supporting us in our mission of bringing to life the choral music of our time. You'll find a link in whatever streaming platform you're using with instructions on how you can support us. Well, this video features a virtual choir performance of Thomas Lavoie's O Great River, a simple but beautiful fisherman's prayer penned by the composer himself. We're delighted to have Thomas actually with us here today to share a few thoughts, and then we hope you enjoy our virtual choir performance of O Great River. And do come back next week, as we'll have a second performance to share with you next Friday as well. Well, until then, be well, and thank you again for joining us. Hi, everyone. This is Thomas Lavoie. Um, it's so good to be here with you virtually, and I want to start just by saying thank you to Coral Arts Initiative and Daniel for including me on this very special project. Um, the piece you're about to hear is called Oh Great River. It was commissioned last year by Brian Stevens at Nazareth College in upstate New York. And uh, after Brian had uh, approached me about a commission, we got to talking and we discovered that we were both avid fishermen. And we decided to make that kind of the theme of the piece to find some sort of text that would speak to both of us in that regard. Um, but as I moved into the process of looking for a text, which uh, the composers in the audience will know is half the task and a lot of labor just to find the right text, um, I discovered that there wasn't really anything out there that I could find that spoke to the moment and what we wanted to say with the commission. So uh, luckily around that time, I uh, had planned a fishing trip down into the gorge beneath the Laughing Whitefish Falls here in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And as I was um, heading down into the gorge, I lost my footing and I fell and I tumbled down into the gorge over these rocks. And uh, somehow, amazingly, I came out relatively unscathed. I had a twisted, sprained ankle and some uh, bumps and bruises and things. But if I had fallen just slightly to the right, I would have gone over a sheer cliff, which would have been um, a much worse fall. And seeing as there was no cell service in the gorge, um, I, I might not be recording this video for you. Um, so that event kind of led me to think that I should write both the text and the music, which I, which I do on occasion. And um, with Brian's blessing, I got to work, and this piece was the result of it. Um, in reconsidering this piece here in 2020, um, it's changed a little bit. It initially, it was meant to be kind of this uh, secular prayer, um, respect for nature um, and for safety in nature and wanting to find your way home again. Um, but now, in the midst of a global pandemic, it has kind of taken on new meaning to me. Um, particularly in the in the final stanza of the poem that I created, there's a, a phrase that says, um, let life guide my line. And that was initially meant to be kind of a play on words. Um, you know, as a fish guides your line in the water, also you make decisions in your life to, um, to kind of respect the, tra the trajectory of your life and do what's best for you. Um, but now I think it's, it, it feels almost like a call to, uh, a call to action or responsibility that, all of us have a responsibility to act out of a respect for human life and that our actions should be guided by um, keeping that interest at heart, whether it's the lives of our family, our friends, or even perfect strangers. I think everyone has a duty at a time like this to protect one another. Um, so I think that's about it. I hope you all enjoy it. And um, I hope you enjoy everything that Coral Arts does. They're a wonderful organization, and I'm just so... Uh, fortunate to work with them. Thank you. Bye-bye now.